Hello, Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs, back with more Let's Learn Path of Exile. Hmm, this guy's gotten right up in my face, haven't you? Um, I do not feel that way about you. In this episode, I think we're going to try and see if we can't finish off uh, Act 2. Or Act, Act 2. Or, well, we did, so congratulations. Now let's finish off Act 3. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so that shouldn't, I think that's, I think that's doable, uh, but we will find out. I'm pretty sure the locked door thingy that we need to get to is this way. Um, so I'm picking this up right after the last episode. If you've had some feedback, have not had time to look at it yet, or I mean, just haven't seen it, um, but I will soon. So hopefully I haven't done anything catastrophically bad. Um, still have sort of those questions uh, a little bit about um, how damage uh, damage modifiers are applied to minions I think that was a big one that I was wondering um, and also just sort of other skills other things I should be focusing on to make sure this doesn't get uh, this particular build doesn't get out piece I want another one of these guys I love this guy yeah there we go big sword dude big tank sword dude I like that guy. Uh, go ahead and polish them off. We just upgraded our minion damage and health and health region and stuff like that. Um, haven't really got any new uh, equipment. At least nothing huge. Uh, we are running Clarity and Hatred are both live and up. Uh, so that's good. Because I am definitely want to forget those sorts of things from time to time. And we can just be dashing through here, can't we? A little bit. I want to be careful. Everything feels so spread out. I kind of like maps where everything's in front of me or behind me so that, um, you know, my flanks aren't open. This is very much a, uh, to me, feels like a build where um, you have to be very conscious about not being flanked by your enemies. We'll unlock this door and ascend the scepter of God. Uh, which I assume is said that way. All right. This, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this level. So this is it. We're we're right on it, right on top of it. Remember, Dominus, what goes up must come down. I love the voice work for the witch. Like her her voice is so sort of hauntingly creepy. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, like the 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 women voice actors in this game are really cool. Between the, her and the Jim Link Queen, um, just thematically feels so on point and so kind of um, haunting, disquieting, maybe. Oh, and we can get six. We can get six of our zombie dudes now. We have quite the little army with us. Just pounding out the raging spirit guys. Um, so when I did uh, on my other character, my um, ancestral war chief build, uh, fought Dominus and figured out all the things I had done wrong before and the only, like, only other time I'd ever fought him. Um, done some dumb things, but I think I've got that more figured out now. Hopefully. We'll see. I've certainly had hubris before and regretted it. Just go in, open a door. My job is door opener. I am much more of a just sort of stand there and like in it, go in this room sort of a breach and clear I'm the guy with the little hammer that knocks down the door and then sends the SWAT team in that's the guy to be oh. Ugh. breach and clear <laughs> good job team Did I lose? No, I didn't lose anything. Okay, uh, we're not going to be dumb. We're going to scroll the wisdom this. Pack of monsters, rare items, cast firestorm. I think we can handle this one. Cast a random curse. And zip out of there, zip out of there. That was the only scary part of that one was it's really tight quarters up there. But once I'm down, I feel like I got it. Okay. 
Kill these last two guys. Pick up that. Is there one more? There we go. Uh, chromatic orb, scroll, scroll. Court scepter, no. Hood, no. Crusader helm, no. Nope, that didn't feel very useful to me. Nope, I lost a zombie. Can't I? I got, I get six zombies, right? I'll figure it out next, next level. All right, up and up and up and up and up. There we go, six. Go kill the shielded guy. Oof, ow. Almost looks like a holy damage thing to me. If I had never played this game, but a holy damage isn't in this game, right? That's not a thing that's here. Stop dashing right into the middle of packs of enemies. There we go. Breach and clear. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Get out! And we haven't... I find the Scion up here, right? That's a thing. Because you don't get that right away. I feel like. I feel like I'm remembering that. You have to unlock her in this level, maybe? Which is kind of a cool concept. Um... What's a really good Scion build? Curious. Don't really understand what that is, it kind of as much as some of the other characters. Um, is that more of a magic dealer? It seems almost more like a fighter mage to me. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I'm just making stuff up now. Mm. Nope, must be top right. Uh, these spellcasters are the worst. Yep, there we go. Grab that orb of transmutation. Oh, the upper scepter of God. It's like a giant. I assume I'm going up this giant tower in the background here. I assume that's where we are in uh, the lore of the game. One of the things that's interesting to me is the, um, and maybe I'm wrong here, maybe I just haven't investigated enough. It doesn't feel like the expansions are really lore related, which is one of the things I feel like RPGs usually do is they, you know, including ARPGs here, um, is they kind of, okay, I've really got enough scrolls of wisdom. They, it feels to me when they upgrade or kind of have these expansions, they're kind of about the continuing legacy of the story that's going on. And while Path of Exile does seem like it has something interesting, like I've said before, um, and this is an interesting difference, actually, as I think about it, is I'm not sure how much the story of Path of Exile is super interesting as much as just the writing of it is. In other words, I think there's something about the way the words are written as you know sort of an independent sections and then the way they're acted out uh but i'm not feeling it as a cohesive thing that i have as much of a powerful interest in it. you know is um whereas i think you know sort of the ultimate contrast of that to me is is something like a dan brown book um and you know no discredit to Brant Dan Brown. He's got a lot more, you know, famous novels than I do. Um, but I remember reading, um, oh God, what's the famous one? The one with the Tom Hanks movie. Oh no, don't, brain, don't you dare. Angels and Demons. Oh, no, that's the other one. Da Vinci Code. That's the one I'm trying to think of. Um, I remember reading that and it was, it was written, I, it was written. <laughs> that was, they were, there were definitely words that were written down. Um, 
and I don't mean to, again. I don't mean to just crap all over Dan Brown here. It just his writing style is not one uh, that I would necessarily really enjoy. It's not one I would necessarily seek out right away. But at the same time, I felt like his ability to craft a story and craft something that kind of moved in in a you know in, in a smart and in, not a smart way. That's that's again the wrong word. But that just had it it had um it had momentum to it. Um, and even in the moments where you're like, this is nuts. This is an insane book that I'm reading. Um, it had enough going for it at the same time as far as just, can I zip across over here? Whoa, don't you lag on me. Um, yeah, okay. Just go outside. Uh, I think I'm getting some, getting some fun little lag here or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, Dan Brown. I felt like it it just it was such a page turner that I was able to ignore all the little quibbles I had with it stylistically. All right, fine. Let me just throw these guys out here. Nice job. Beat him up. Don't you kill my specters. Okay, we're fine. Uh, Fallen Sword? Sure. Whatever. Now that was a fight even and he's level four. I guess that's good. I need to get some Prophecy Stone. I haven't paid attention to my prophecies very much lately. Breach and clear. Oh, those little circle things are annoying as hell. Uh, George Lucas is another one I think of like that. You know, writer? I mean... You know, to each their own, but to me, not, you know, not the strongest writer in the world. But as a crafter of a story that I'm interested in and, you know, in some ways follow even despite my whatever other problems I might have with it, like top, top notch. Um, or, you know, maybe depending on which particular story and which era of George Lucas, I guess, we're talking about, right? It's... Uh, he lost a little bit of credibility there for a while, but uh, at the core, I think I think you understand the point. Uh, and up, 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 up we go, and here we are. I guess we don't pick up the scion. Maybe I was just remembering that wrong. I'm not sure where that was coming from. Okay, Dominus. First, a bunch of other lesser dudes. Don't know how lesser they are. Do they just You're trigger? There we go. Okay, we've lost a couple of zombies, but... Keep things going. Stand back. Don't stand in bad. Turn off all those items. He's just sending me enough stuff. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Get out of there. Have you ever seen the true face of God, Exile? Uh, no. Remember. Nope. Oh, here we just sit through. Ow, ow, ow. More zombies. I don't have more zombies. Nope, 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 nope. They look like little worms. I know they're supposed to be like, wow! Okay, I lost one of my specters. Come on, more zombies. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Uh, can I get another specter somewhere over here? Yeah. I don't know what I pulled, but it's got to be better than nothing. What do we got? Raging Spirit. That was a good time for Raging Spirit to level up. 
Ow. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't you touch me. Uh, and now I have to stand in the circle, right? Yeah, I think that was the thing I kept screwing up before. Was I was just, and again, I was playing a much less powerful character. Not powerful, but just a character that was nowhere near able to really take that on. Uh, but I kept just wandering around like, what is this red stuff and why is it killing me? Too much, uh, too much clutter. Uh, we can move some stuff around, right? Talk to Diala. Here we go. You have, of course. Anything else here that I want? Don't feel like I'm feeling finding great stuff. Holy chainmail. Uh, four linked holy chainmail. Yeah, why do we even have this spectral sword? I must have picked it up. Um, no idea if I'll actually have a use for that, particularly since I don't have the strength to kind of carry it. And we will get to our uh, Act 4 town. I think we'll wrap it up there, but we'll power through the Act Duct here real quick. At some point. That there we go. Let's see where it comes from. All right. Speed it up a little bit. Oh. Oh God my God! You on this fine day, Care for another Any more Let's do it. This, this one I like because just dump a bunch of bunch of dudes out there and they just kind of monitor things. Um, just oh, full plate. Get a chromatic orb off of that if I can find a place to. Stay. Stuff it. Just standing. <laughs> la la la. Just putting out my raging spirits. Kill all the dudes with raging spirits. Okay. I guess we did a really good job. Full plate fits. Uh -oh. <laughs> and get more zombies. And look. Leveled up to level three with that guy. Uh, okay, so come down here. Okay, spell damage? Well, no, wait. Spell damage doesn't do me any good. This is where my question comes in again. Does melee damage help? Does strength and intelligence would be help? Attack and cast speed would help. 14% increased melee damage. I think that would apply to my creatures, right? Right? Where else could I go for now? Um, maybe I'll go. I'll go over here for now and get my increased mana and mana regen and max life. Uh, what else do I want to do? What's up here? Wouldn't mind getting a jewel, but I'm not sure elemental damage is the way to go. I don't. I haven't been able to put a jewel in, have I? To go up here, grab intelligence and a jewel. I realize I'm a little, it feels like I'm a little bit off plan here. Intelligence and a jewel this way too leads to what? That doesn't feel like it's the direction I want to go. Boom, boom, ba boom, boom. Um, I'm going to think about that one. I don't need to do it right now. I'm just sitting here. I'm kind of torn. Let's just go ahead and get where we need to get. Get our act, our act four together. Zip, zip, zip. Love flame dash. Nope, and we got some Essence stuff over here. Weeping essence. Trying to remember what weeping is. Don't remember. Uh, cold damage, I guess. Just 
pull one of these guys up as a short term. Um, no, I'm not sure what that is. Weeping is lightning, huh? Classic. Ah, crud. Uh, what do we what do we have plenty of? I've got skulls of wisdom coming out of places I didn't know I had places. That's insane, isn't it? That's a bad decision. I also have flasks coming out of places I didn't know I had places. Uh, we'll go ahead and plug this superior in over here. Flask I can skip. That is not a problem anymore, having flasks. Unless there's some... That's the other thing, that's the hard part for me, is that I'm always like, oh, Sean, you didn't know, you'd have to have those, if you have 27 flasks, you can get uh, all the legendaries in the game. Legendaries, whatever you call them. Um, I have, oh, I've got my own little flying dude. He's not particularly on point, but he's there for sure. Dash through. Dash. Dash. And sip over here. Drop some more Raging Spirits. Coming to think of Summon Raging Spirits as a more of a di direct damage spell instead of a summon um, has helped. Because summon for me sets that expectation. I think somebody uh, somebody definitely mentioned in, in the comments from one of the videos that you know I've got very much gotten away from a summoner build in the way that I think I originally ow uh, had conceived it, which is fine. Um, this is also an interesting build to me. Come on, give me some zombies. Clicking on all the places. And it is almost more like. Uh, Summon Raging Spears is just sort of this direct damage thing that I'm doing. And that's, yeah. Like, just, I mean, I uh, should be, expect them to be as permanent as a fireball in some ways. Man, these guys have got a lot of arrows in them. They're, they're doing some work. Give them that. And here we go, into Highgate. And we have made it to Act 4's home base, where I think we will stop for this episode. As always, thank you for joining me. My name is Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs. We enter now the last act of normal. Um, yeah, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do. Are we going to uh, kind of play through Cruel? Um, and yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll see how we're how much fun we're having at that point um, and figure out where to go from there. Uh, until next time, as always, my name is Sean Sands. Thank you for joining me and we will see you real soon.